body. Shin Kaboom here, and we are starting episode 2 of Super Punch-Out! And, uh, if you watched the last episode, which if you haven't, I suggest you do, because it was, uh, it was interesting how fast I was able to actually beat all the guys in the first circuit, um, while not paying any attention, but, um, if you, if you were joining us again from the last episode, I talked about the game a bunch, and, uh, didn't pay any attention to what I was doing, I kind of just floated through it, because I know the game pretty well, but this next one's going to be different, because these guys get a lot harder, and a lot funnier, like, uh, the first two guys in this set are, like, a parody characters, I would say. Obviously, we know who this is, uh, this is obviously, uh, parodying Morgan Freeman, and, um, yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> Pop Charlie! This guy's actually somewhat easy to beat. He's really weird. He's, like, the weirdest Fight! patterns. But the thing is, you can break his patterns really easily. Like, he has, like, the weirdest pattern out of anyone outside of the, uh, final circuit. But he's really easy to predict and stop. For the most part. Yep. Oh. <laughs> he has a really funny move he might do if uh, I don't knock him out too fast. So I might fight kind of Oh no. Oh, this is where he gets a little difficult. This is where he starts getting hard to Ah, he's faking me out. Um, but he has a really funny oh here we go. Oh no, I... yeah. <laughs> He does absolutely nothing. He just walks away, does that, and walks back. Sometimes he'll do this spinning punch attack thing instead, but it's really funny when he does that. Like, I don't know how you were able to get those punches in on me. You're pretty good. I didn't punch him in the face much. Okay, something else I didn't mention before. Be careful. Um, when my gloves are glowing, I have increased punch speed. But you might have noticed that, because it gets pretty ridiculous. When you, and that's like a, supposed to be like the optimum time for you to knock someone out during that because it makes your punches stronger and it makes you faster. So if you knock someone out during that time, you do more damage to him with the knockout attack. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. All right, so we we cleared him pretty easily. He's he's easy, but the rest of the guys get a little more difficult. Like the next guy, who we'll see now, <laughs> obviously a parody of uh, Jet Li. Um, th this character is uh, quite difficult to defeat on the first try when you're playing this game because he plays totally differently from Ready every now. other <laughs> from uh, every uh -huh. other character Fight. so far. Uh, you'll see in a second. For starters, he moves slightly and then attacks, which will really throw you off at first. And you have to know which attack, which ways does what. Hitting him with uh, charge-up attacks is a pretty good idea, but it's hard to land one on him on the initial punch because he will go back and then block it like that. I feel like I'm doing—I feel like I'm doing more of a walkthrough than actually playing the game. But uh, if you can just hit him with a stun and then start popping him with a couple hits, okay. So this is the trick. There is um, when he when he will always jump to the one side then to the other, and then the, well, after he jumps to the second side, he'll twitch a little bit on the rope, then kick at you. So you just wait till he twitches and then you duck. And you're okay. Um, when he starts doing that, and he just look, just went invisible on your side, probably, but um, he'll start getting life back, so you gotta try to hit him as soon as he starts doing it. And, oh, this, he'll start kicking to the left and right, and you have to dodge left and right to get, keep from getting hit. Oh, oh, he's beating some up. He can really start chaining up on you if you're not careful, if you're not paying attention. Okay, get some life back here. Um, if you've noticed the words that come up, it's um, it's kind of like the other player, uh, opposite of you when you're playing in the first one. It's like they have referees hauling at them from the sidelines, telling them to do things. And the funny thing about him is how they holler everything in Japanese, or Chinese I would suppose. I forgot if it was Hong Kong or what, but um, so you don't have that as an indicator as to what he's going to do. Kind of like the other guys, like you had the, um, for the Bob Charlie character, they're like, do the buck and ch duck and chive, so you kind of, if you remember what it does from what you played before, you can use that to your advantage. It's not like that with him. <laughs> you just have to kind of know what he can do and what he, what he uh, can and what he can't do. So I did horrible against him. I usually get second place on him, too. This guy gets ridiculous. Um, he cheats. <laughs> And um, I'm not going to give it away how, but you'll see it pretty fast. Hopefully I can dodge it, but um, he does something really dirty. If I don't dodge it, then it'll be fun to watch for a minute, because I'll have to uh, do some tricky stuff to keep him getting hit for a few seconds. He also has some more um, actual combo 
moves than most of the people do, so he'll punch, low hit, and then he'll, uh... And I blocked both of them that time, but I wasn't able to get a counter punch in on him when he did it. Alright, so right here, he tries to... Oh, he got me. Okay, so he spits in your eye. You can't punch for a few seconds after he does this. And he'll just go crazy on you, so you have to try to dodge everything. If you if you can actually dodge... Ooh, he may just knock me out. Oh, that was close. If you can actually dodge the spit, though, um, you can get a serious combo in on him. That does tons of damage to him. Like, it can almost knock him out his entire life bar out. Ooh, gosh, he got me. Knock his almost his entire life bar out just in one go. So I'm gonna have to focus here, because I'm about to get beaten if I don't. So if I had my power bar, I could I could have done a really big combo on him there, but I wasn't able to. Alright, so I got fast punch. Also, if he hooks you to the left or the right, you have to hit him with a respective punch, and I'm really bad about forgetting to do that. Alright, so I got him back. He'll get up pretty fast. Keep wailing on him as soon as he comes in. Try to get his mini. I missed. Alright, here we go. So, this is the, the big combo. Hit him a few times. He goes down. Smack him like that. I guess I could have went to another combo with him since it wasn't enough to finish him off, but it's alright. And he should go down. Oh, he dodged it. Ooh, darn. I uh, mixed him up with uh, a guy later that looks similar to him called Super Macho Man. When he shakes his arm, he. Um, does a big swing, and I was uh, thinking of that for some reason. So, block that one. Oh, I did block that one. Block one. It's hard to block those. You automatically. Oh, thanks, I got it. I stunned it. Um, you automatically block. Oh, got him. All right. Uh, is that his second down or third? Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I thought I was about to lose for a minute. <laughs> but um. If you um you automatically block your waist if you're not pushing up on the D-pad. So any low blows you automatically block. But you don't um automatically block the top, but you have to hit up the block up there. So excuse me, it can be kinda hard to block both if they do an attack that's fast like that. But uh we got him! <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is a character that um I think he's a returning character. If he's not, you probably recognize him from the Wii version if you've ever played it. He's like the final person in the Wii version, I think. Um, but I think he's a returning character from the first one. He's one of the last people you face in it. And uh, he's hard. This this will be a difficult fight. He's got a lot of really weird delays on his punches and stuff. And it can get a little bit aggravating. And later on, he just goes ballistic and you'll see it. There's no way of not seeing it, so I won't spoil it for you. But it just gets ridiculous at this point. See, like that, his uh, uppercuts are extremely delayed. You'll, you'll jump out of the way thinking, I need to hurry and get out of the way, and then he'll sit there for a few seconds. Ooh, I just messed that up. You're supposed to block the first thing and dodge the um, third punch on that. Ah, okay, I'm uh, about to get hit there. Get out of here. Um, one thing about him is, as you probably noticed, me trying to get, I gotta use my buttons as I can push here, okay. Me trying to get in extra shots on him um, didn't really work out all that well. It works a little bit when you get the fast punches, but, ooh, yikes. Um, getting extra hits on him isn't easy. Okay, I'm not even going to talk, just, just watch this. <laughs> just watch this. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh! Darn it! Alright, luckily he doesn't stay like- Oh yes he does, oh gosh. He does stay like that, doesn't he? Alright, not to hurry. Try to finish him off. Oh. Okay. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> he just starts throwing uppercuts left and right, and it gets really intense. And I wasn't able to block or uh, dodge all three of them in time. But we got him. So, uh, like I said, not as- definitely nowhere near as easy as my, um, as a first circuit, but I was able to make it through it. Um, I'm a little worried about the next one, though. It gets, it gets really ridiculous. <laughs> ah, fourth place. Not, I don't like it. Oh, second place on the best score, though, so that, that makes me happy. <laughs> 
I have gotten first place on everything in this game before, but it's been a long time since I did that. And I didn't do it all in one run on the first try, that's for sure. I had to play people separately, like, uh, individually to get the first places on their times. But, um, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, we're gonna go on and do the world circuit, and there is one more circuit after it, if I'm able to beat all four of the people on the world circuit without losing in a row, so I have to beat them all just like I've done the last ones consecutively. If not, I might do it off camera so we can see some, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, all that. Uh, I didn't mention this in the first video, but I'll mention it now. We really, really need you guys to start giving us some feedback on our videos, because we don't know if you guys are enjoying them or not. Um, we get views and we get thumbs up, but we don't get anybody saying anything in the comments, so don't be shy. We won't bite your heads off. Just, uh, so tell us if you like the video or anything. Tell everybody else. Um, we do have a Facebook page now. I'll put that in the description, and I'll have put that. On, I'll have that put in the description of the first video too. Um, so it should be in there, and uh, I'm gonna start putting that on all, all the links uh, to stuff like that, our social media stuff, as um, and everything. And we'll go back and put in all of our videos um, when I get some free time. But uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, we post whenever we're uploading a video. We post funny little things. Uh, you can send us. Um, we actually had somebody send us fan art. So if you uh, if you want to draw one of us, or or redraw one of our sprites or whatever, you just want to send something cool to us and want us to see it, then go ahead and do that. Maybe if we start getting a lot of cool stuff like that, we'll start making like a Saturday videos, showcasing that kind of stuff. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.